South Carolina Representative Jim Clyburn, the number three House Democrat and one of the most prominent African Americans in Congress, blames the shooting of an unarmed black man by a North Charleston police officer on conservative lobbying efforts. Clyburn, who represents and previously lived in North Charleston where the shooting occurred, said that authorities should make an example of police officer Michael Slager, who was charged with murdering Walter Scott after videotape surfaced of the shooting. This is the most obvious thing I've ever seen involving a police officer, he said in a phone interview Wednesday. And I think there's many more like this, we just didn't have the videotape. Clyburn said that the relationship broadly between African Americans and law enforcement is very, very bad and blames the American Legislative Exchange Council, a non-profit conservative group that drafts and promotes state legislation, and the billionaire Koch brothers, who have donated to ALEC. Clyburn called the group dangerous and claimed that it was partly responsible for the death of Scott because of its support of conservative legislation, including the Stand Your Ground laws that allow a person to kill in self-defense without having the duty to retreat. He then added that while the Cox are lauded for their philanthropy in New York City, they have given hundreds of millions of dollars to Memorial Sloan Kettering Center and the home of the New York City Ballet and Opera. Some Ku Klux Klan supporters were once viewed as upstanding citizens as well.